Okay, so let's have a look, um, and let's just use this example. This will come out terribly because uh, these are the max loads, so you're never going to load your plane to max in everything. What you're going to do is you're going to be under that because you're not going to fit within your max takeoff weight of 2950, and you're probably going to end up way too far forward if you do that. But anyway, let's let's work it out and let's see what happens. Um, and then let's also compare doing it by multiplying out the weight times the arm versus going to the chart and see what the error factor is is like okay so first of all we've got to we've got to plug in some weights now let's just go with 150 150 100 even though i think it's 150 140 and 130 or something like that but anyway so you multiply out 150 by your arm and you end up with that number there 435 000, 000, 000. then you do the same for that one same for that one these ones here um, already had weight, so we just multiply out 55 times 500 and we get that, and we do the same down here. We don't need to do anything for that yet. That's just the loading capacity of the floor. CASA loves to ask you about that, and you've got to work out um, the loading capacity of some little heavy parcel. Now, then what we want to do, now they've given us to it in a uh, gal. So all we do is go to the VFRG, conversions volume and then we can get the conversion table and it'll say 2.72 kilos per gallon so you times 50 gallons times 2.72 comes out at 136 kilo now that you've got your weight you times it by the arm and you get 242,080 do the same for that one this one here again convert it to kilos multiply it by the arm you get 305 200 Okay, now let's add up all our weights. We get a total of 12, 10. Now that's just for these items. We then have to add in the basic empty weight of the aircraft, which is 1,970 kilos. So then what we do is we add all those up. That gives us that total. We add the um, basic empty weight of the aircraft the moment for it. So that's uh, 1,970 kilos times the moment arm for the aircraft, and it gives us that. So we get that from the echo loading chart too there, 1970 times 478. And then what we need to do is tally those up. And, and you can see here our total weight of all our fuel, our passengers, our cargo. And it comes out at 3180, which is way over the maximum takeoff weight of 2950. And then our kilograms per millimetre comes out at 4,588,000. We divide that by 10,000 to get index units. It comes out at 459 index units, which is going to be way forward of the safe flight envelope. And then the other way of doing it is going to the chart. So if we go consistently to this chart here and we grab our weights against the item and then we convert it to index units, which is what I've done. You're going to end up with all of these okay then you do the same for the aircraft which i just did by dividing that by 90 uh, by 10,000. you add all of those together you're going to get 449 uh, index units now why didn't they come out the same this is very important to understand because basically this one here this one here is done mathematically that's accurate this one here was done by me guessing the position on the chart as accurately as i could and as you can see, we've come out basically 10 index units. That's our error factor from doing it from the chart. Now, that's something that is very, very important for me to highlight for your exams. For CASA, they don't have a huge amount of tolerance. Sometimes relying on just doing it on the charts might not be accurate enough. If you, they give you two multiple choice answers that are very close together, that may not be accurate enough. Or... If you are required to type in the answer, I would be working it the long way if I had time. So if we were then to plot that, there's our max takeoff weight there, 2950. And if we're at 2950, we need to be right back here at about 755 index units. Yet we're way over here at 459, which is about there, and we're up here. So not only are we too heavy, but we're massively out of the envelope. So as you can see, that was just a worst worked example to show you how to tally them up, just using the, the numbers they gave us. But it also shows you that uh, 
you know, that if you load any the aircraft anything like the maximum for each compartment, you're going to be way out. And it shows you the error factor within the moment index units.